Hello and welcome to TPK Roleplay. Meg, this is your stream, so take us away. Hello, everybody. Once again, welcome back to TPK Roleplay. I have the distinct pleasure of being your game mother for this evening. You guys have seen me floating around being an absolute nerd in the Discord about Alien. We're back again after our charity stream from October to run Destroyer of Worlds back in the Alien RPG system. So if my players would like to go around and introduce themselves, we'll talk. We'll start in the top left corner. Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Tyrant. I am a recent admittance uh, to this Alien RPG. Uh, I don't know exactly what's going on, but I'm here for the fun. And, None of us do uh, at this point. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully some gut-busting horror. Nailed it. Hey there, folks. I'm Al the Biffer. I am joining you as Warren Officer Charlie Chaplin, your resident uh, sort of, uh, yeah, English chap, bumbling fool, and general medic uh, on hand to clean up any of the visceral um, components that should uh, dirty our playthrough. I'm sure everything will be just fine. Hello, my name is Proper Nerdy. I'm a staff member and streamer and etc. at TPK Roleplay. And um, I'm playing Captain Beatrice Silva, and uh, I'm going to whip these whippersnappers into shape or something like that. Just like I, I whipped slobs into shape. <laughs> Perfect. Hi, I'm Niffer Niff. I will be playing Sergeant Kale Iona. Yes, my first name is Kale, and I'm so happy about it. Um, I allegedly have played this system before, but you'll never be able to tell. Right, so just as a note for all of our viewers going into this, this is a horror-based game, so we're it's kind of rated M for mature here. We're gonna there's going to be strong language, obviously violence, gore, and possibly some graphic descriptions. If you if you're fine with that, I encourage you guys to stick around because this is a wild ride that we're gonna get started on. Um, and obviously, let us know if we run into any more technical difficulty issues in the chat. I did post a link with the destroyer command there, you should be able to check out our donation table for this game. But now that we have sort of gotten everything situated, let's go right into this with what's the story, Mother? So you've all heard of the oil wars. Oil wars? Oil wars. Hell, most of you have been out on the front lines as the United Americas, the Three World Empire, and the Union of Progressive Peoples have faced each other down over scarce oil reserves. Too many fronts, not enough grunts, as the saying goes. The United Americas Allied Command, UAAC, and the Colonial Marines maintain an uneasy peace as protesters and insurgents cause trouble across the colonies. This is true of the United Americas refining and refueling station on the frozen moon Ariarchus in the Kruger 60 system, with its oil production and space elevator reaching into orbit from the ground. But the colony is in turmoil and decline. The 2180 Weyland Yutani census cataloged 200,000 colonists on Ariarchus. In the three years since then, all but about 2,000 have abandoned the moon for greener pastures. Whilst the military needs of the USCMC are still being serviced, uh, most of the colony is now a little more than a ghost town. One week ago, the Union of Progressive Peoples annexed the nearby 61 Cygni system. All communication with the colony there on LV038 has, was abruptly lost. In response, Allied Command assembled a fleet to take back take back 61 Cygni, using Fort Nebraska refueling station in the Kruger 60 system as a staging ground. That's where you all are. Now, you expected to be passing through Nebraska on your way to war, but each of you Marines were pulled from your companies before they went FTL, leaving you stranded at the fort on the volatile colony moon, Ariarchus. One of the largest oil producers 
just in the colonies, Ariarchus is also a hotbed of insurgency. With the, I'm not spelling out that abbreviation because I don't like it, the up uh, moving in on Kruger 60 next, the United Americas has decided to cut its losses and evacuate the colony. But as of this morning, that evacuation was suspended. All civilian and military transports were grounded with no explanation given. With the insurgency problem, barely a skeleton crew of military personnel and nearly 2,200 divided colonists stuck moonside, it's only a matter of time before the situation blows up. Now, Major Hatfield from the infamous Sin Eaters unit has summoned you for a special moonside mission. Every Marine has heard of Hatfield, a real soldier who always puts a duty first and lost his arm as a result. His remaining left hand is always resting on the brass hilt of his antique U.S. model, 1852 Marine sword. With this shark skin grip bound by gilt wire, his hand grips the hilt as he speaks. Okay, listen up. Everything you are about to hear is need to know and no one else needs to know. Understood? As of 0200 hours, a four-man Marine squad went AWOL from this base with classified intelligence. Intelligence that in the wrong hands will mean life or death on the frontier. Intelligence that simply cannot fall into enemy hands. The man believes the AWOL's plan to make contact with the moon's insurgents and defect to the... Uh, we're looking for Woji. Hold on. I did not time this properly. <laughs> We are looking for Wojcik, Carvalho, Wright, and Reese. Oh no, did I just click out the wrong handout? I did not, okay. <laughs> okay. Here is their, uh, here's their ugly mugs and all the info we have on them. Everything else about them is classified. Oh, I want you to find these defectors for me. Confirm their identities as well as the identities of any other fucker they've passed information to and bring them in. For the duration, you are Charlie team. I will coordinate from Fort Nebraska. All communication will go through me on a secure channel. We are thin on leads, so start at the spaceport or that dive bar, Oblivion. Some asshole there's got to have seen them. Remember, there are insurgents out there, too, so stay alert. I see some looks. I know you've never worked together before, but I cherry-picked your asses because each of you is the best at what you do. So get her done. Oh, one last thing. Deadly force is authorized. Am I clear? Understood, yeah. Sorry, sir. Cool. I know what you're thinking, and you need to forget that shit. These bastards are not Marines any longer. They're traitors, and they are shit yourself dangerous. And he is looking specifically at you, Silva. They are... Your orders are to bring them in alive if you can, but if they present a clear and present threat, you goddamn shoot, and you shoot to kill. I'll ask again. Am I clear? Understood. Sorry, yes, sir. Yeah. I can't fucking hear you. Understood, <laughs> sir. <laughs> All right, and on the ready, Len Marines, fall in and move out. That was a long spiel, and I apologize, but... <laughs> All right, let's go pop with some heads. As we roll out, I just kind of, like, edge uh, Chaplin a bit and be like, we're, we're Charlie team, see? They, we named it after you. Okay. Well, I thought it was about time that someone recognized me, don't you think? <laughs> Pretty good. Okay, so you guys, after getting the whole briefing from Hatfield, are at the moment just hanging out in the sub-level as they're setting up your APC, which is going to be basically the truck that you drive through here. Um, it's an armored vehicle. You can load it up with whatever ammunition or weapons you think you'll need. This is going to be your last chance for the moment. 
Can we just take whatever things we think we might need or just yeah. kind of whatever's in our sheet already? Whatever's on your sheet um, is automatically what you're going to have. If you yep. feel the need for anything else, um, there should be a handout available to you that does list the different kinds of weapons that are available and some other gear as well. That should all be underneath the gear tab in system rules. Yes. I think I'm set. <laughs> uh, we're going, are we? You said we're going out into the forest, right? Or the jungle? Or do do we know like the terrain we're going to be in? So this is an ice moon, oh. essentially. So oh. going into this, you guys, let's go ahead and pull up the main map here. Now everything should be playing accordingly. This is Ariarchus. That is the colony that you are on. Also, what's kind of been dubbed the moon. <laughs> but um, as you can see, it is distinctly separated into a few different districts. You guys are currently towards the bottom here in the spaceport. Meg, I don't believe we have uh, moved over. Have you not? Yes. Forbid. Okay. Also, uh, you want to turn on the music and get this anyway. uh, this mood going. The, the mood music. Let's see. We need some vibes. I don't know why it's not playing. It's playing on my side. No, oh, it's just being weird on my side, I guess. Never worry. Don't worry about it. Is it showing that it's playing for you, or it is? It's, it's, it's just slobs being stupid again. So, do not worry. Say it's all the way up on my side for the volume, so I don't know how to help you, sir. Just keep going. There it I'll is. figure it out in the mountain in the background. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you guys are currently at that's not where you are. It was the wrong tab. But here is an overview of the colony that you guys uh, should probably get an understanding of. Uh, let's see. Down here at the bottom, we've got Fort Nebraska, where you guys currently are setting things up. Um, and as you can see, the colony itself is divided into four different districts. You've got the North District, uh, East, just West, and South. Um, They've all kind of got their own thing going. Uh, as per Hatfield's recommendation, you can start at the spaceport or at Oblivion, which is kind of the colony bar. But you guys are pretty much free to go wherever you think your investigation should, suits it. Okay, roll call, everyone. <clears throat> Who do we got here? Anybody? Okay, oh, sorry, Sergeant Kill first. reporting. Thank you, Sergeant. I Private? just said Sergeant Kale. It's Sergeant Iona. Kale's my first name. But yep, we're good. It's fine. <laughs> uh, Private Private Hammer. Gotcha. And uh, yeah. a pleasure to meet you all. Warren Officer Chaplin at your service. I'll be on medical support for this mission. Gotcha. Nice. Anyone? Uh, anyone got any strong opinions here? My uh, my gut says we should go to the uh, the diner simply because no one's going to be just around the spaceport, but um, we'll just go to the bar. Might as well. Let's do it. All right. So we're going to head over to the bar then. All right. That is not the correct tool, Megan. <laughs> there we go. No, oh, I can hear the music now. Is the music coming through? Good. I picked some good vibes for this map. Uh, all right. So you guys all walk into this lovely bar. I use the term lovely usually. It's fairly 
rundown, but it's probably actually the most upkept thing outside of the spaceport and the horde itself because, well, people want somewhere nice to go drink, right? But as you walk in, you it's crowded. Quite a few of the colonists are just kind of drinking themselves away here while they are waiting for this whatever is holding up the evacuation to get lifted so they can get off this damn moon. But uh, you walk in, you've got some dancers hanging out on the tables. There's about four of them, a couple of guys, a couple of girls, and mostly just colonists, some shady looking people hanging around drinking. Um, You get some weird looks coming in full armor as Marines there not too happy and you see some people starting to make their way towards the door just and moving away from you in general if i look around can i see anyone that looks exceptionally dodgy uh roll me an observation roll (laughs) yeah look at me (laughs) Uh, First roll the night. Observation. Anyone else want to do this? <laughs> um, you help yourself. Uh, I don't know what that means. No, I really don't want to help you. I just looked at my sheet. That's it. Okay, so you don't see anything, Hammer. <sighs> I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go up to the bar. Okay. Oi! I'm gonna uh, get something tall and strong. I can look around without seeing anything. Yeah, sure. And the uh, bartender steps back and takes you something and sets the glass down in front of you and says. Uh, Captain uh, Silva is going to step up just behind uh, Hammer and say, remember, Private, you are on the clock. <laughs> okay. Okay, robot. Uh, oh, wait. No. Ow. Wrong, per- wrong character. Yes. yes. Sorry. And I realize that, that now. Captain will slap him in the back real quick and then move away from the bar. It still works. He's a captain. <laughs> uh, I suppose I'll turn around to the bartender. Hey, uh, you got any uh, leads on uh, people that are trying to get out of here? You know? Uh, let's see. He starts counting off heads and, sa- and just looks at you and say, Just about everyone in this fucking building, sir. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey. Me included, but anyone that's uh, been successful? No, not since they shut down the space elevator and they won't let anybody on the. Uh... Oh, what the hell is it called? That big ship sitting on the spaceport. Mm. <laughs> well, if you if you uh, if you had any leads on uh, people that knew how to maybe find a way around the system give up that information really wish I could help you with that one sir but nobody's told me anything if you want more information I don't know talk to maybe some of the dancers some of the crowd maybe uh, Faye might have something, or hell, you could even ask Eddie sitting over there, and it's a little further down the bar, there's a uh, woman just drinking and straight up bitching about bitching to anybody who will listen to her. Alright, fine then. Thanks for your help. I'll just kind of start wandering through the crowd aimlessly. Hey, GM, uh, if I look around this bar, um, are we... We've been brought to this this 
Pete's station. Not, um, we're not like usually here, right? But this isn't a, a, ca a spot that Captain Self would go to regularly. Most likely, no. Um, this is like it was introduced. Most of you guys have were in passing for here. Like, gotcha. uh, but if I look around, do I recognize anyone? Is everyone here military? Sorry for a stupid um, question, but most everybody here is a colonist. Gotcha. So it's no faces that you would likely recognize. Then, is there anyone that looks like they're avoiding eye contact? Or like they just seem to be waiting for someone? Or, you know, like they're being sketchy is what I'm... Can I vibe check the bar is what I'm You saying. can vibe check the bar. Roll me an observation. <laughs> Gotta find my observation skill. There it is. So I got one success, I think. Okay, so let's see. So you do see a couple of people who have, who pretty much as soon as you walked in, walked out. They saw you and up in arms left. Interesting. If I, I'm gonna turn to um, to Charlie, and uh, basically I'll just say, uh, just t uh, take a break outside uh, the entrance here, and just tell me where they go, okay? Of course, sir. Whatever you need. And Charlie will just about turn on his heel and march straight back out the doors again. And as soon as he's outside, it's frantically trying to see where these folk have gotten to. Hey, uh, hey, Iona. Yes. You don't do that with me. Oh, I'm, wait. Yep. Sorry. I'm, I'm, I was I'm, only I'm, hearing I'm the private. voice. I'm, I'm a You're right. Uh, that was, that was not you. Sorry. Listen, I, I got an idea. Mm. Uh, you seem to be pretty good with people, yeah? I'd sure. Like, you like to make friends with people, at least. I'm the exact opposite. So how about we do this? Mm -hmm. you, go try, you go try to make friends with people and get the information. And if it doesn't work, let me know, right? Sure. And I'll just, like, try and walk over to one. Just walking up to somebody random in the bar. A pair of people. If Other there people. are, if like, can I sidle up and join a conversation? Uh, sure. Uh, one of the tables nearby has several people and a dancer. Cool. Um, I have zero in all of my social stats. So, <laughs> I'm just not quite what up my fellow youth's level of awkward, but I am going to just kind of try and get into this conversation and just be like, how's it going? Have you all been uh, here for a while? My only friend is wrong. My only friend is a robot. This is fine. <laughs> Hello, fellow colonists. Have you been here since the, you were a colony? <laughs> no, like in this bar, have you, you know, been drinking long at this point in the day? Is it morning? Is it evening? I don't know. I look outside. I'm stressed. Uh, who's asking? Should I be concerned about you going back to the marshals? Marshals, I don't even know where that didn't come off right. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, no, I just, you know, um, 
we all want to get off of this place, right? We're all here. You know, yeah. we're just, you know, we, we all just want to get out of here, right? You and, you know. We're I'm, a band of marines. The one thing we fear is social interaction. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you join the Marines? I didn't talk to people. I I 100% did join the Marines, so I didn't have to talk to people. No, I I was just wondering if, you know, you... You know, what what have you been up to? Looking looking for, you know, fun these days. Oh my gosh, what am I supposed to be? Asking <laughs> people trying to escape, yeah. Nah, so, people. So out of character, real quick. This, yes. um, just making sure I understand the story correct. We've yes, got, same. Uh, four of our fellow Marines who have gone a wall. Who've gone a wall, and, and we're yes. trying to find where they would have gone. But we believe that they are. They have gone a wall because they are trying to make contact Defect. with. Like defectors, basically. Yes. yes. Gotcha. So you're pretty much looking for any suspicious interactions. You're looking for anyone who may have seen these people. You guys do have access to their pictures. Yep. Uh, I think. And, uh, and sorry. nobody else is supposed to know that they've defected, so we can't be like, "Hey, have you seen these people?" Correct. I mean, no one knows that they're defected. They, yeah. We we know that they are missing. Yeah. But if they've but been I here, I assume then... we should not tell right off the bat. Hey, we're looking for these people. That's why I'm trying to be casual and make friends. Is it working? What do I roll for being casual? Hi. The weather is great today. <laughs> what do I roll for being casual? Um, I don't know, maybe manipulation? <laughs> great. <laughs> the, the guy's gonna kind of look at you and say, are you I looking for something in particular, Marine? Cause... Pull nothing. Oh, you know, I... Any other marines come in here often i you know i don't have that many friends but uh you know maybe anymore might have peaced out for some cooler places and i could go hang out with them you haven't hammer these, yeah, do these, i these do i see iona floundering <laughs> Yes. All right. Ham- I think Hammer- it's pretty noticeable at this point. <laughs> Hammer-, Hammer would grab his. Uh, Find like w- would- four different cool poses. He'd grab his like belt loops and walk over, and just kind of loom above the table, and just reach this behind him, buddy. reach behind him, grab a large fucking Bowie knife and slam it down into the middle of the table. It's not my how about- buddy. How about you fucking answer uh, questions, huh? Jesus fucking Christ, dude, I was trying to. Holy shit, what's your problem? And He's you weird, weird. see the uh, the dancer actually just kind of shrieks and gets off of the table and yeah, kind of runs back safe. towards the bar. <laughs> you gotta be safe, that's fine. And after a minute, do you want to keep arguing with these guys? Uh... A hammer would just kind of like grab the knife and say, I think you want to answer our fucking questions, huh? Huh? Or else you may find yourselves on the wrong side of the law there, bud. And. I can't answer any questions I don't have answers to, dude. Can you take that fucking knife and get out of my face and. I'm, I'm just gonna like pull one aside and be like, yeah, look, see, you know, I'm, I would really like some friends that are not that guy. So if you've seen any <laughs> other Marines I could hang out with, I would really appreciate it. You walked in with a whole squad of them. Yeah, Go no, find them. And she, actually. No, other, other people. Please, just. Uh, Ca- Captain Silva's gonna go over to Sergeant Iona and say, I don't know. Head outside, check in with Charlie, okay? Mm hmm. 
Hammer, I don't want to talk to you about this again. We're not going to be threatening civilians, okay? We're so bad at this. Hammer will just grab the knife, <laughs> spit at the civilian, and walk outside. Fucking useless. Uh, as Hammer is leaving, these guys are still cussing and spitting, and you actually see the somebody come out from the back office of this establishment and it's a woman. She stands there and just crosses her arms and says, is there a problem, soldiers? Seems that you're causing some distress to my customers and my employees. Don't worry, I'll take care of him from here. He's a bit of a pain in the ass. And uh, with that, just like kn knives her eyes straight at Hammer and just nods her head to, or to get out of the, of the bar. Um, she, uh, Captain Silva's gonna uh, lend a hand out and say, I'm sorry about that, uh, Captain Silva. Uh, I need your assistance if uh, you wouldn't mind just a brief moment. Sure, I'd be happy to help if it means calming everything down. Um, gentlemen, go ahead and head to the bar, head up to the bar, get a couple of rounds. It's on the house, and she motions to Silva to follow her. And she does. Um, can you guys move your tokens, by the way? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can. Mm -hmm. Okay. So am I following her behind the bar to the office? Yeah, behind the bar into the office and she shuts the door and asks, what can I do for you, Maureen? Again, I do apologize for him. He's always been a bit of a loose nut. Um, loose cannon. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, I'll get straight to the point. I have a, a comrade, a, a friend who's um, I haven't seen in a while and we're looking for a we're looking for an update on his mission and he's a, and uh, Captain Silva's going to pull out some kind of you know device and uh, show a picture of uh, Lance Corporal Reese and just kind of you know have you have you happened to see him anywhere it's, it's rather important you understand I've seen him. I had to call the marshals on him last night. Really? For what? Uh, he was meeting with some of his friends. It was four Marines. And so she'll <laughs> swipe through the other photos and show them to her, just to double check if uh, those are the people that he was with. And if I remember correctly, yes, that actually... Looks like them. I can give our security cameras a look and make sure. Were they with anyone else? Do you rem remember? Mm, no. It was just the four of them. They got in some kind of argument. Together? Two of them left. Yes. Hmm. Good to know. Uh, if you wouldn't mind bringing up that security footage, I'd just like, get, like to give it a look. Of course. And so she pulls up the cameras for the bar and goes through them and just shows that there's no audio, but yep. you do get a grainy photo of them pretty much in the corner so of the bar. Can I tell from this video recording uh, who, well, who started the argument? And uh, who was arguing? Like, were they all just like bickering, or did like someone say something and that sent someone off? And like, I want to know who's. How did they split, basically? It seems like it just all increasingly. It just all blew together. Up all they were just sudden. arguing with each other. It seems like it had been mounting for a little bit. Like they tried to be quiet, and then they just kind of exploded, and then. Two of them left first from the footage, and then one left a little later. Reese Sushi. Who left first? 
Um, from what you can tell of the footage, it's a woman and a man. Gotcha. And then a, a little bit later, another woman leaves. You assume it's the other woman, and all that's left is the guy who just ends up coming up to the bar, and she points him out on the cameras and says, that's the first man you showed me. Gotcha. Never got the name, but he was drunk and belligerent, harassing my dancers. I had to call the marshals on him. They hauled him off. Certainly sounds like him. Uh, Well, thank you very much for your time. I'll make sure that my uh, my companions don't make any more of a mess in here. Um, have a have a good day, okay? And she's gonna. Is she married? Uh, she's gonna leave. She's gonna leave the office area, head back out and, and grab hammer, and um, before before they go. Uh, is, has Hammer left left? Like, is he outside of the bar now? Yeah, he's outside. Yeah, okay. Um, so she's going to she's gonna leave the bar and head up to Charlie and say, Okay, Charlie, report. I believe I did notice him, sir. Headed off to the northwest, if I'm not mistaken. What's over there? That's a question to Charlie in character, but to the GM out of character. So to the north, you know that really all that's up there is a shut down refinery. Uh, oil refinery? Mm-hmm. The what shut down oil refinery and off to the west, it's basically housing. Gotcha. So it could just be they went back to their, their housing. But, um, good to know. Um, shall, we, shall we head that way then? Right. I believe so. They may be using this refinery as a base of operations, or at least certainly some sort of a stronghold for now. Certainly a strong possibility. Um, Sergeant Iona, do we know who might be running this? Who's Who has control over this area? Do See, I, I keep asking that? you these things in character, but I do, do expect I uh, you... Meg to respond. Meg, Meg, you I say the words. I need context about who you mean by who's controlling. So who is like the uh, quartermaster or who would be like the person in charge of security around this area? You said Why? words in all mouth like I'm exactly. answering. Uh, basically, you said this is a shutdown refinery. Uh, who would have access to that area? Pretty much any colonists that would sneak out that way. It's, it's, there's like, no it's like that feasible, abandoned? That yeah, like, it's just sneak in? Yeah, there's no feasible reason for anybody to be out there. Um, the As far as anybody who like oversees, like keeps things under wraps, there's the Colonial Marshall Stations that kind of monitors the colony itself. Um, and if you do a check into that, it's you know that it's pretty much run by um, Marshall Himes. Marshall what? Himes. Gotcha. Uh- Anyone want to check in with the marshals, or should we head straight in? I know you're all uh, well trained. Listen, I don't think there's anyone that can stand up to uh, uh, us. I don't get cocky, Private. Um, let's head that way and think see we, what could we can take find. Him, sir. I appreciate the optimism. Move yeah. out. Yeah. So you guys are heading to the refinery. We are. Alrighty. Oh, spooky music change. <laughs> All right. So you guys get to the refinery. Let me. So pretty much like what you would expect in some of the information that you got. This place is pretty much abandoned. Although you notice that there might have been some movement going around. Some what? Some movement. Like gotcha. maybe Keep it's not as abandoned as you thought. Gotcha. Uh, Hammer, you check around back near the near the distillery distillation towers, and uh, Charlie, want to join him? Uh, 
Sergeant, you and I, we can we can come around the front here, okay? Sure. And so, uh, I think Iona and I are going to kind of scout the area in the front of the refinery, uh, over here where, like, these waste toppers are. And uh, I'm sending the other two kind of around the back to check out the, the area. You guys on the board, you can position yourselves how you so, would like. Can we just walk in here, or is there any? Should we? Ch I expect that we'd be checking the area outside first for any signs of meddling. Mm, so go ahead and roll me an observation for those I of you who are looking. Will. Uh, well, That's one success. We've got three successes. Okay. I got one success. Emma's not looking. <laughs> he just doesn't care. No. <laughs> You're with the robot, he's he can do all that. The, he's waiting for the trouble to come to him. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit, he just wants to fight. Sounds accurate. I mean, I okay. see a door, and it needs to be open, so I'm going to go kick it down. <laughs> okay. I thought so, we learned in Harper's to stop kicking doors down. <laughs> nope, we're always, always going to kick them down. Always, always kick everything down. But as far as... Let's see, we'll go over here to Iona and Silva. You guys notice pretty much just subtraction. It looks like there's some footprints in the snow, but it's a little bit hard to tell how old they are, um, just because it has been snowing, but they do look relatively recent because they're still there. Gotcha. As far as Chaplin goes, um, yeah, it's very obvious in this back corner that there's been a lot of movement. You actually see uh, barrel fires. Mm. They're something they've spent some time here. Can I tell if they... Uh, are these tracks recent? Are these the folks that we've just followed here now? Have they passed through this way? Are these old tracks that have been around for you know, a day or two? Um, it's hard to gauge. They're recent, but more than likely with the time that it took for you guys to get here, it might not have been the others. As we look around the facility, is there anything like um, like security cameras or anything that may still be operational on the premises? Nope. Yeah. Like I said, it's, it's abandoned, abandoned. Like, if it weren't for the fact that these barrels have been lit up, the snow is even overtaking the inner part of the building. Well, if we can see the barrels, can we see the people? Depends if you're looking, I guess. I'm asking you, you, smart ass. <laughs> oh, haven't noticed anything yet. Right, well, maybe they're in that building over there. You wanna, you wanna pop in? You can certainly try. Or are you not gonna come with me? Oh, I'll follow you. Don't you worry. Oh, okay. Uh, is this break in the wall here just completely open, or is it a door, or? Ah, uh, that is a doorway. Can I slip through it and kind of sneakily? Just kind of checking my corners, clearing, making sure that, you know, just doing normal tactical insertion stuff. Make me a mobility roll, please. Ah, <sighs> you can certainly do that. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Two successes. Two successes. Second. 
Okay. So. So you actually hear somebody in the inner building where the office is. You just hear uh, chit-chatter, people, they're just talking, bullshitting, uh, until you hear somebody stop and say, did you guys hear that? What, what are you talking about, man? There's nobody out here but us. Like, no, I swear to you, I heard something. Is there a way I can climb the distillation tower? Yep. Access ladder or something? Uh, yeah, there's the ladder. You yeah. can climb it if you want to. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get to whatever the first height up is. I don't know if there's like catwalks at different heights or whatever, but just wherever the ladder takes me first, and then I'm just gonna like get an overwatch position. So for the most part, the ladder itself just goes completely up. Oh, so it's you're like the top top. Yeah, so you're looking up maybe. Mm, about 50 feet in the air. All right, 50, 50, feet's not, 50 feet's not bad. Or 50 meters. Eh. 50 feet is 150 feet in yeah. meters. So yeah. <laughs> well, which a which one is it? Because there's a big that, difference. Let's turn that down a little bit. <laughs> That's about 30 meters. <laughs> 30 meters? Uh, 90 feet. That's that's not terrible. Totally, yeah, we'll do that. Know, eight or and, nine and stories. Any, anything on the... Anything on the ground would be within long range of you. Cool. Yeah, that's all I need. So I'll just get up on top and look down. And uh, I'm assuming we have communications devices between yeah. all of us. You have some comms. Just open up the comm channel. Oi. Captain. Sergeant. There's uh, voices over here in the office. If you want to come join us? Uh, stay quiet, Private. Over. Iona, quickly over this way, please. And uh, we're going to run along these waste top, these waste topper areas and kind of trying to stay out of sight as much as possible. Um, and we're going to head, we're going to actually... Uh, Do we want to head out Silva, of well, Silva's going to kind of duck into in between these refining containers mm-hmm. area over here. Mm-hmm. And uh, where do I go? Well, uh, uh, Silva's going to kind of direct Iona to kind of follow her, but to keep right. a distance. Okay. So. <laughs> Done. Uh, Silva's going to uh, kind of reach out behind one of these containers and uh, get eyes on Private Hammer and just say, I have eyes. Um, Over. Uh, uh, She's going to make eye contact with Charlie and uh, she's going to make motions basically to approach the office with caution. And let's see. What kind of weapons do I got? Just in case. What you doing over here, Chaplain? I'll look at my commanding officer and <laughs> look a bit confused as to why I'm being sent up to a building, but nod and begin to head towards the door. So a cycle round. You're being and set then... up because the player doesn't know what a warrant officer is. Okay, it's a medic. That's very cool. <laughs> then never mind. He, he didn't say I, that. I don't have like you're all in like flat I, jackets and helmets and like body cams okay. and I have like a I lab be, coat. I would. And be you're very carrying good to rifles set up and I've got like a syringe. Iona's gonna like, direct yeah. you to okay. come follow her and take the I'm place okay. of uh, Iona. I'm Iona. Cool. We'll, sure. we'll trade out. I'll be like, should I? Uh, Sir, yeah. 
Try. I'm just like in a yeah, try, yeah. Lap I, I, <laughs> Captain Silva's going to direct you to kind of fall back and uh, get yep. behind her and send that Iona out sense. towards the uh, doorway. Cool. I do that. <laughs> okay. So, Iona, since you are moving forward, go. please make me a mobility roll. Okay. <laughs> hey, I have a plus one on that. Oh, no. Sure. So, I have a one success. Okay, I know I heard something that time. <laughs> I I did a I did a one thing. Yep. Oh, that's the it. character saying they heard. That is the character. Oh. That is the character. Oh, okay. we all <laughs> thought you, you were just like, did you not hear never? No. Like <laughs> No, that is the character saying, Okay, I know for a fact I heard something outside. And somebody's like, Well, if you think there's something there, then go check. <laughs> is there a place to hide for me? Probably not. I think I'm directing you to, to, to go for it as opposed to hide from it. <laughs> then I am going for it. I'm going to interact with people again. This is fine. Uh, this guy. Once I actually reveal him. Hello. <laughs> uh, hi. Oh, I guess another black circle. How it does. <laughs> Perfect. This is just how things are. This That's is just how fine. tokens are shown. It's fine. <laughs> but it's just a guy wrapped up in um, some heavy coat. He's like, sees you. There's like, whoa. He holds his hand up like, whoa, whoa. What's out of what's character? the rush, Marine? This was supposed to be abandoned, right? Yes. Like, yes. This was yes. supposed to be abandoned. <clears throat> we, uh, this place was supposed to be abandoned. What are you doing here? Drinking and waiting for the end of the world? Is that a crime? You're not marshals, you can't bring me in for anything. Trespassing on property is actually a crime, last time I checked. So we're gonna have to ask you to leave. And if you've seen any other folks here, I must insist that you <laughs> tell us. Out of character, I'm upset. I don't know. Iona's saying us, but it's okay. <laughs> Me. Um, I'm implying I have backup, okay? You I know what? That. Sure, sure. This, it's an issue for us being here. My friends and I can go um, find somewhere else to drink, I guess, and we're looking for more as well. Have you seen anyone else around here looking suspicious? Somebody help me. What are other good questions to ask these people? Have you seen these people? <laughs> um, can we pretend that the more comms are, people? are private? <laughs> I... Or how, how, how private are the comms? Are they like earpieces or are they like walkie talkies? They're, they're earpieces. Uh, Captain Silva will turn real quick and just say, uh, We have one brain cell in this whole group right now, and it's proffers. Uh, Iona, is the uh, end of the world coming soon anytime? Am I supposed to ask them that? Yep. Oh, sweet. Cool. What makes you think the end of the world is so soon? Uh, Anyways. well, the whole moon's locked down. Yeah, but what we'll about be... you guys? What are you doing out here? We're investigating trespassing. Tell them, it's n tell them it's tell them it's none of their fucking business. <laughs> Shut up. It... <laughs> We're investigating, uh, just to make sure that everyone can evacuate when the time comes. So make sure you're near and don't get into trouble. More, more trouble. You've. Yeah, you know what? Right. We'll get ourselves together and we'll head out to the spaceport, I guess. We're 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 also looking for other uh people as well. Have you seen any people matching these descriptions? And then I like roughly describe because I've totally forgotten that I have their pictures on me. Anybody with eyes, roll me an observation. 
anybody with, with eyes. Anybody with eyes on them. <laughs> no, oh, yeah, I, I, I do. Anyone with eyes. Anyone with eyes. Including the chat. Chat can roll as well. Chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh... Jesus. Charlotte, <laughs> do you have any... Do you have any aspirin? This conversation's given me a fucking headache. Something like that. But it might have to wait for the moment. I've spotted something. <laughs> At least we have uh, at least we have Charlie, because literally all the rest of us are just like, what's going on? Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Alright, so Hammer's gonna take one Every, of his Everybody's stems. rolled, right? Yep. That is eighteen. Yeah, that is eighteen. Did you get a one as well, Nev? A success? I didn't even try. I didn't, oh, didn't count roll, myself. you didn't bother. <laughs> I didn't count myself as having eyes. <laughs> Bad. That's a that's great good. character revelation that uh, Iona doesn't have eyes. Oh my yep, god. Just, this is me. It explains the everything. Blind sergeant. Mm-hmm. The best blind marine ever. I got a one. Okay, so. Yes. <laughs> One's fine. This is fine. Chaplain Iona, you distinctly see him tense up. So you did. I didn't say any of that. Your body said it. Uh, shoot, that was... I'm sorry, that was awkward. Um, <clears throat> we're looking for anybody to... They have information, so you should tell us. Somebody help. Iona, <laughs> Iona. Tell them if they don't not fucking you. talk. If they don't fucking talk, I'm going to shoot them. Just oh, tell them that. Not hammer, just... I, I will uh, just awkwardly like fumble and get my gun out just to like just to, like look intimidating. Just... Hmm. So, I'm can, trying. You, can you go back and say what you were saying to this man again for me? <laughs> I we are we are looking for people that match these descriptions. They also were supposed to have been trespassing here, and that's unacceptable, so you have uh, to tell us if you've seen them. We ain't seen nobody like that here. Do I believe Is that? there? Is there a thing to just a vibe check in this game? Yeah, can I vibe check? Iota does not believe that. Uh, it's a manipulation, actually, I believe. Oh, great, I'm so good at that. Yeah, I would like to vibe check, please. Go if forth and okay. vibe check. Vibe check. Go forth. No successes. <laughs> I, like Niffer, don't know. <laughs> this is fine. I'll just, like, nod. Well, make sure you're near transport, because we're not... It's gonna... We'll get off here eventually. Everything's gonna be fine. Just stop trespassing. Uh, does... To break the tension, because oh, uh, thank God. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Captain Silva can tell that uh, Iona is kind of floundering here. Mm. Uh, she's going to take a step back and uh, call as if she was not paying attention. Um, Sergeant, report. Where are you? Uh, over here, sir. <clears throat> and she's gonna come through this way, and. Uh, I guess flank this individual. Um, oh, I see you've uh, found someone, Sergeant. Good job. Um, excuse yeah, me. What's I was your? Just questioning them. Thank you very much. What are you doing here? Uh, like I was telling your so your fellow Marine here, um, just drinking, killing time. Good. We all need a bit of a drink these days, don't we? Things are falling to shit. Um, since I got you here, well, I do. Uh, let let me ask you. Um, did 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 Iona already 
ask you about a, a certain missing person we're looking for. He's a dear friend of mine, and uh, he hasn't reported back from his latest mission. Um, Kenny said something about looking for some missing people. Oh, Thought good. they were trespassing, but I can promise you it ain't any. It ain't me. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, what do you do here, sir? I'm sorry? On the colony, what are you here for? What's your occupation? What are you... When you're not drinking alone in a abandoned refinery? You are alone, right? Yeah, I'm alone. Then... I don't want to please. Me. Yeah, I was going to say, sir, I believe they somebody said us instead of I, so I, it's very suspicious. <laughs> and I'm just going to go Well, it's a bandage. You might as well go and check just in case. I'm No, I, I was referencing that Niffer said us and you hated it. I'm just going to go <laughs> to the office now and look and stop making jokes. Okay, what do I find? Are you going into the office? Yes. Okie dokie. I, I have thought about putting my gun away while Silva is talking, and then I was like, no, wait, I'm, I'm going to check the office. I should probably just have that out, just in case. Oh, oh boy. Um. I own a report. Uh, first, I would like to see if they uh, communicate at all. Are they all so, just sitting around drinking, or...? This... This guy... Mm -hmm. Uh... Actually has a gun, and it's pointed at your head. And hmm. just... I don't have my gun pointing up, so I'll just kind of put it back in the holster and say... Howdy, folks! <laughs> so, Iona, you I asked you for a port. <clears throat> Don't say anything. <clears throat> Hammer a warning shot, please. I I shoot <laughs> at the uh, the guy outside. I shoot at his feet. Wow, that's reserved of you. Jesus Christ, and um, roll me a close combat, and then you there, never? Yeah. Oh shoot! I That's keep forgetting you. my own character name. <laughs> close combat. <laughs> Wait, why am I the one doing it? I thought you said Because hammer. you're being attacked by someone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know if uh, if uh, Hammer needs to roll anything for shooting at his feet. I got no This one question. I'm going to give him because okay. he set up beforehand. I thought you said Hammer. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Okay. I don't know, dear. You have been grappled, and this guy oh. has... <laughs> I thought I was just going to get shot in the head and be like, okay, I'm out. No. <laughs> No, you, um, so he, oh, oh, said wraps, howdy. <laughs> you, he wraps an arm around you and he's got the gun to your head. I didn't. And he just calls out and. Uh, Silva's going to show cold the guy that we have in front here. Uh, and pull out her knife at the same time. Okay, roll me a close combat. Will do. Charlie, we may need you soon. I don't want my best friend. <laughs> Hello there, Captain. Um, are you it. able to keep that one at least fairly quiet for the moment? Okay. So that is actually a draw. So you try to get him and he you just don't land the grab. He gotcha. flips back a bit. Well, at least we know you weren't telling the whole truth, you little asshole. Uh, Iona, do what they say. 
Don't move. I wasn't planning on it. This is fine, sir. Uh, can I repel off of the distillation tower? Or, like, at least come down off of it? I feel like I'm at a little disadvantage because of certain things. I mean, you could just land on that guy. <laughs> uh, if you... <laughs> If you want to jump the 30 meters to do it. Uh, <laughs> I will aim, it. aim for the bushes. Aim for the I bushes. will instead say uh, overcomes. Um, we've been given lethal, lethal uh, overcomes, but also to this guy I'm in front of. Sir, I'd back down. We have been given lethal force, so uh, I wouldn't get wouldn't stand in our way. As These I hear four that, are some Charlie. of the most dangerous men, that I, men and women that I know. Charlie's just going to stride out into the middle with an air of arrogance and self-importance <laughs> and just stride past everything that's going on out here without looking and stand in the doorway of the office and just look <laughs> at everyone inside surveying them Hi, and just buddy. go just go very good we've been after these two for some time it seems they have uh, decided to make their own way from the forces i've been hunting them down as part of a special unit but you chaps seem to have been able to round them up on your own i'm impressed There'll be a substantial reward in this for you and your excellent service. Perhaps uh, even a pardon if one is needed. If I could take the situation from here and he'll move in and start like, you know, get Iona's arms and like put her in like an arm lock and like, you know, take the gun off her and and like just kind of try and take her out of this guy's grip and be like, good work. There'll definitely be a commendation uh-uh. in it. I shall mention you. Uh-uh. And he, oh, no way. Back off, buddy. And pulling Iona further back into the room. Say, I am a human ragdoll. This is fine. <laughs> I don't think you understand the power that I have. Now, I'm prepared to let this go. And perhaps, you know, there may be some passes this for you, some extra rations, and maybe a few credits here and there for your additional service. On uh, this understanding that no one else needs to hear about this, of course. Uh, but you'll leave these two in my care, naturally. And he'll look around at the other guys in here and be like, you're starving, freezing, hunted, abandoned. I wouldn't worry about us, buddy. Oh, I don't. I'll leave you to worry about yourselves. But what I'm saying is, is it worth it? When the handout's there, take it. And let these two go with me to the court martial that's waiting for them. You keep saying two, and I'm confused who you're talking about, Al. I think he's talking about Iona and Silva. Is that correct? Yep. Surely they'd have heard what's going on through the like open door. But they know yeah. there's a third, though. Yeah, they do. Well, they just heard a gunshot. Like, they don't know he's there. They shot it at this guy's feet, though. Which he's going to point out and say, You think you have the manpower for that, dude? I know you have another guy. They have another guy. Shot at ours. Mm Mm-hmm. And did he kill him? No, but I might kill this one. And could he? And if you think that there's one of them hiding out there, how many of mine do you think are hiding? And if they have eyes on where you don't even know where we are, well, perhaps they're in this room. It's a question, Sire my friend, of if you want to put this to the test. And what have you got to lose, I guess? But what have you got to gain? Rain's all has passed to L. So... Roll me a manipulation, please. Oh, good. Zero successes. So he succeeded his and says, and he calls you out and says, I'm pretty sure you're bluffing. So if you want your soldier, you're going to let us leave, and then you can have them back. Well, that is very unfortunate. Is there a follow-up to that? No. Back up. 
out of the room. Very well. Yeah. Then. Um, yeah, with. Diana comes out first, followed by. The. More. And you see that these guys are actually now very armed. Three of them look like every other colonist that you've seen so far. Two of them are actually wearing armor. Hmm. And let's see. Is there anything else that you guys would like to take, would like to do before we go into initiative? <laughs> oh. Well, maybe initiative. Depends on what you guys do. Oh, it's going to be initiative. Mm. Oh, no. uh, which are, are any of them, which ones are aiming their guns at Iona? Is it just one of them or is it multiple of them? So. You've got the one on the left here, we'll say, is the one that's grappling Iona with the gun to his head, and the other one beside them is also pointing the gun at them just for, hey, this is reassurance. And the others are very guarded now, looking towards you guys. Sitting in the office, sitting in a room, drinking, and waiting for the world to end is what I believe you said. We're the ones who are going to end it for you. Don't you worry about that. Uh, Captain, Charlie, you want to back away? Iona, don't say anything. Can you break free and go back in the office when I tell you to? Head nod or a head shake, please. I would. Come on, don't you know Morse code? No blinking. <laughs> Just blinking. Yeah, I trained for that. All right. I was. I was doing blinking. There's everyone. <laughs> everyone ready? Good. Iona. Now. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> Hammer's gonna pull two grenades off of his belt, pull the pins, and drop them in the middle of that group down there. Remind me about your grenades, please. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Oh, yes, the grenades. The grenades that I have. The ones that we have, yes. Yeah. Uh, it just says four grenades. Oh, wait. It should be yes. underneath your weapons tab. Yes. Uh, both of them are medium range blast nine. All right. <laughs> okay. So, is this the part where uh, all of us die in horrible <laughs> deaths? We have to replace yeah. our characters. I'm 90 feet up. So, <laughs> you hammer doesn't care. <laughs> so, first things first, I'm going to have Iona go ahead and roll your close combat to see if you can break free. Hooray! That's something I'm actually good at. Just kidding, I'm good at ranged combat. I don't belong here. <laughs> We're all good at ranged combat. We're meant to be shooting the <laughs> Two successes! Hey, there we go. They were all good at it. Okay. You are able to slip free. I did it! Okay, are you oh. falling back into the office? Yes, I am. All right. Now, I will give you guys the opportunity to react with a mobility roll to see if you can get out of this blast range. Okay. You're gonna give us that opportunity. How sorry. I'm gonna give you the opportunity. Well, that you sounds had, like you had a heads up. I told you to move back, and I was like, "All right, go." 
<laughs> I'll have pandering and I will not move. <laughs> Two successes from Silver. No successes from Chaplin. All right, Silva, you are able to get around and out of things. Chaplin, uh, bud. 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 Give me a second here. The GM starts rolling dice and more and more dice. You're actually rolling against blast nine damage, so. <laughs> oh, that's fine then. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I don't know what blast nine means. That's a big number. So, it is large and it's armor. Roll your. You have armor, right? Who? You. No. Okay. No. I have no armor. God damn it, androids. Oh, no. I told you I have a lab coat. Double check things. It counts as an armor, right? You have a lab coat? <laughs> yeah. It is a thin piece of cotton fabric. Pl plenty to deflect some shrapnel. Yep. I have armor zero. Okay, so... The best number. Since you failed the mobility roll... You mm -hmm. are taking three ticks of damage, sir. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's super fine. At least he's not dead. <laughs> not dead yet. Be a minute to roll these guys. <laughs> he was never alive. <laughs> womp, womp. <laughs> he had one oh. cool bit of role play, failed, and was blown up. <laughs> Oh no, you did die? Oh no. No, I've got some health left. You've got one health left, don't you? I have more than that. You have <laughs> two health left, don't you? I've got more than that. What? I've got one grenade blast left. <laughs> I only have four hit points on a, on a day. Yeah, but you have armor. That's fair. Okay, I do so... Not. And Each he's a robot. He's fine. This is he fine. can live without an arm or two. Robots are word, so if you could not use that, that'd be great. They are themselves taking three points of damage, and they end up kind of scattered a bit from the blast. This one gets thrown back into the office. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> but um, uh, they have taken damage, but they are still moving. Hmm. Uh, can you point out which ones have armor? Uh, yeah. these two. The ones gotcha. that are different. With K's. Got it. Got um, it. Can you explain, and can you describe to me what their armor looks like real quick, if you don't mind, if you have that on you? So, the simplest way I can put it is that it actually, you see very faintly in the shoulder like around the chest piece, the logo for the United Pe Percussion, People Percussion, or whichever way it is. The U, know. the up. <laughs> I don't know what that means, yeah. but that's fine. Um, that's the guys that you're going to war with. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, hmm. How did I not notice that? Iona I has her outside. knife out, <laughs> as I mentioned earlier. She's going to, as they stumble away. Hold up, uh, me? No, sorry, not you. Uh, Silva. <laughs> You're Silva. Has... I'm Iona. Hey, See, I hey. got my own character right. It's... You did it. Good job. Uh, Silva has her knife out, as was mentioned earlier. And as I start stumbling away from this blast, because they didn't see it coming, but I kind of did, um, I'm going to uh, basically lunge at one of them. And uh, if you uh, cut the... What's it called? I think it's right behind the knee. If you... Uh, cut them there they start they'll start to bleed rather profusely or is it the ankle one of the one of the above it's on I, the uh, silva would inner know. thigh the inner yeah. thigh yeah. cut them there they die in uh, like two minutes there we go because it's a uh, major basically, artery yeah basically he's go, she's going for a major artery and she's not she's trying to avoid the uh, armor there before we get too far into that let's roll us an initiative boys yes let's do that and individuals <laughs> 
Ta -da -ta 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 duel. Nine. I can find. We're doing initiative dice, right? Yes. Oops. Got a toggle. I got a four. Oh, beans. I didn't. Excuse me. Right. While I log back into roll 20. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Damn it, Tyrant. I accidentally. Uh, one of my. Oh, you. Whoopsies. There. And. Is that initiative? E? Yes. Where be. Yeah. Initiative dice, dice, yes? Yep. Mm -hmm. That one. Oh. Oh. Spicy. That's a toy in. Okay. So, Bloodless goes first, which. That is going to defer over to Iona, actually. I had to click my token twice. So I technically rolled a four on initiative the first time. Yes, actually. You were the lowest number. So oh. lowest number goes first for initiative. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, ah, yay. Um, I'm going to... I don't want to do close contact, but I feel like I really do need to take out this guy in front of me first. I'd say that's a valid move. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Can I, like, I can't, like, run across to the opposite end of the office and then get range combat, can I? Uh, yes, you can move. I do believe drawing your weapon is a slow action, though. Oh, right, actions. Fuck. Yes, the actions are a thing. You can do a fast action and a slow action, or you can do two fast actions. Movement is considered a fast action. Alright, I'll draw my weapon and fire as my two actions. I won't move. Okay, so... Can I do it? Can I pull... Um... Yes, you if, can. However, if, you are rolling with negatives. I was going to say, if my pistol is medium, then... You would be rolling with negatives since you are firing and engaged. No, then I'm pulling out my knife instead and doing a stabby stab. Please. Because I was excited to have knives, so I better just use it. I will try that. I got three successes. Please. Two damage. Shink, shink. Shink, shank. Okay. Fine. This is fine. This we is got fine. This. Everything is fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine, guys. <laughs> Don't mind me while I roll on the injury table. Um. <laughs> That's a good thing. Wow. Wow. Decapitation. <gasps> it was um, not decapitation, but close. <sighs> so you grab your knife out of your boot or the side of your leg yep. and you wrench it up like you were gutting a fish. And this yeah. man's intestines just spill out. And he is on the ground crumpled and quickly you just see that light fade out of his eyes. We did it. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Didn't think that was gonna work. <laughs> Hooray. Good fucking good job, Ariana. Good job. You can't, you can't see me. Oh, okay. I actually have so? a pretty good view, I think. Yeah, you probably do. Stabbing someone in the... Well, they're in the, the office, stomach. so... <laughs> pretty good. Pretty effective. I tried. Uh, oh, I mean, you're up high, though. Yeah. Depends on how close to the door they are. You might see the you see the blood pooling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could be okay. mine. So next up we are going to have Who's next in this initiative? It would probably help if I took notes on things like this. You wanna start okay. the initiative tracker and do it that way? Nah, I've got it all. We're good. We're fine. Cool. So, this guy right here in front of you, Charlie. Uh, he kind of stumbles and collects himself. He's already got the gun in hand, and he just 
since you are the closest thing to him, he picks up the gun and shoots at you. Let's see if how he does with these rolls, though. We'll find out. That is a miss. Oof. Which is absolutely tragic. Probably just as well. Who misses? All right. Next we have Silva. Nice. Uh, shall I go ahead and do the thing I was? I was. Let's. I'm trying to double check if this is a. So. Run is a fast action and. Running's a fast action. Attacking would also be considered. Yeah. Yeah. Um, excuse me. So we'll do what uh, I said I was going to do. Uh, she's going to lunge at the the person closest, and knowing that that they have some kind of armor on, she's going to use her knife to try to slice at his legs. Okay. Make me your close combat roll, please. I must slice at his legs. Yes. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Sorry. Uh, there we go. Nice, two successes. Okay. So I neglected to bring it up as a note for Nifs, but just the base damage overall on it was enough to get this guy in the broken anyway, but with additional successes, you only need one success to succeed. For each additional success, you get to select a additional factor to your attack. Which you can find those all underneath. The skills in question. Oh, okay. Which is... Under system rules, skills, and skills in question. For close combat, for every additional one, you can choose either to add more damage, you can outmaneuver them and trade initiatives, um, knock their weapon away or take it, um, knock them down, or you can put them in the grapple. Um, I'd like to knock him to the ground, so the idea being that uh, she's going to lunge at his leg, give it a good old slice, and just pull it out from underneath him. Okay. So you knock him to the ground, and that was your knife, right? Yep. Okay. So he is in the broken state. Can you remind uh, both your players and the audience what the broken state means? So for this system, whenever you hit zero... HP, you do not go into dying. You go into broken. And at that point, you roll on a injury table, which for this guy, he got a... Let's see. He got a 13. So... For him, in this case... Unlucky uh, 13. (laughs) He is just shrieking because he is in that much pain from you severing that artery and is clutching it while on the ground. Good. That's what I had hoped for. (laughs) But each time um, you take an additional point of damage after going into the broken state, you roll again on the injury table to see what you get. There's only three or four actual rolls that outright kill you. Iona, the guy that Iona killed got one of them. (laughs) 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 But for each time you have to roll on the table, you just keep stacking injuries is basically how that works. But yeah, this guy is on the ground now and Silva, you are over top of him. He is prone. Lovely. Yeah, so. Let's see who is next. This guy down here. He is going to kind of try to collect himself, has the gun up and sees this guy sees Silva. He's going to shoot at Silva. He is rolling with negatives because his buddy is right there. Aim that. I'm going to say shoot and a miss. Nice. You are safe. Cool. Hammer. 
Actually, who is? It's actually a chaplain's turn. Of course it is. Being shot at and cowering after being having his <laughs> eardrums blown out and having lots of bits of shrapnel like plunged into his chest. Yeah. It's going to be the only rational thing to do, which is going to try and spear tackle this chap that's firing at him. <laughs> All those days of playing linebacker at the academy are going to pay off. You're just tackling him to the ground? Yeah, it's going to like full on, you know, form tackle. All right, roll for your close combat. Good luck. That's two, three successes. Hey, look at that. Also good. Awesome. Bam. Awesome. I could have gone pro. Boom. You could have gone pro. You would have made a real fine marine, sir. Okay, that is a failure on his part. You have two additional successes. Would you like to add anything on top of this? Yeah, I'll add some fancy, fancy, fancy bits. Uh, what what table did you say it was under again? Sorry. Uh, it should be underneath the skills in question. Ah. Oh. Can confirm. It is there. It is. <laughs> <laughs> This is what makes it really easy when there's quick references on Roll20. Yeah, also because I forget cool. literally everything, so... Uh, buh, buh, buh. Under close combat. So one point of damage, you outmaneuver and trade initiative scores, you knock or pull the weapon out of them, your opponent is knocked to the ground, or you grapple them. Yeah, I'll um, knock a weapon out of his hands, yeah. knock his pistol away. His gun goes flying off that way since you tackled him. He's already on the ground and prone. Um, so I'll grapple him as well. Okay. You've got this man in a grapple on the ground. He is not moving. <laughs> not without a fight, anyway. Okay. So, Hammer, <laughs> that is your turn. For. Right. Uh, which of these idiots has the biggest gun? This guy who's still standing. Okay. All right. Um, can we safely say that since I've been kind of doing Overwatch this entire time, that I have my rifle already out? Or do you want me to? Yes. Cool. Just going to peek down over the edge. Shoot. Pew pew. Pew pew. Shoot him, pew, 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 pew. Shoot him at least once. <laughs> and we'll see. We'll How see. it goes. Make me a range combat, sir. I will do just that. Now, should I should I click attack from the the weapon, or should I just do ranged combat? Does it matter? Do ranged combat. Just make sure you add the modifier for the weapon itself, if it's got uh, one. Okay. okay. It does have one. Oh. Really? One success out of all one of that. One success out of <laughs> one success out of twelve dice, guys. <laughs> that is truly unfortunate because it happens he, when you're thirty meters in the air, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. But he actually also rolled a success for his armor, so that mitigates one point of damage. How much does your weapon deal? Three. So he takes two. So he takes two. Okay. That actually also puts him into broken. So oh, yeah. let's see how he does on this injury table. Shot through the spine. Got shot through the spine, and you're to blame. <laughs> All right. No, no one. Okay. So hey, you I give got it. Thugs, bad name. Bad name. <laughs> So you're feeling pr fairly sadistic in this ch in this instance. When is he now? Uh, you shot for the leg. <laughs> so his kneecap and fe his like femur is completely shattered, and he is now on the ground along with his buddy, who is bleeding out. <laughs> cool. And shooting <laughs> shooting's a quick action, right? Uh, if you're just doing one shot instead of a full, yes, I believe so. Okay, so I can I can go ahead and just shoot another person now. 
yes. Give me just a second. Shoot, Shoot a firearm check. is a slow action. Is it? I don't. I mean, I want him to get take more shots, but I'm just double checking that. Yeah, shooting your firearm is a slow action, so that is one. You can now take a fast action. Um, and fast action. Uh, I'm can, assuming, like, moving is a fast action, so, like, there's probably not much else I can do. Movement is a fast action. From this position that you're in right now, what you could do is you could go back into Overwatch. Ooh, what does that do for me? Pretty much, if you go into Overwatch, you dedicate one of your actions for this upcoming round to shooting at a particular person in the direction. So whenever you feel like it's best to act and shoot at them, and to either cut them off or keep them from attacking somebody else, you can shoot at them then. Yeah, I'll go into Overwatch and choose this person. Okay. Alrighty, and it is actually his turn coming up next, so that works out for you. <laughs> uh, he is. <laughs> actually, no, wait. <laughs> <laughs> he did his thing already because he was shooting through his buddy. This guy, yeah. it's this guy's turn. <laughs> the guy just blew his leg off. The guy whose leg you just blew off. He is going to try to fight through that and raise his gun to shoot at Silva. How dare you? How dare you? Rude. Rude as heck. That is a success, sir. So I need you to roll your armor for me. Most certainly shall. That's one success. Okay, so you take one point of damage, sir. Okie doke. And we are back at the top of the initiative. So that's with you, Iona. It me. It okay. you with a man no. bleeding. <laughs> I drop him and instantly I'm just like, uh, mm, sorry, you probably deserved it. Okay, bye. And just like go to the door and see if I can help anyone as part of my movement. Look around for if any of my team needs backup that I can just go like stab somebody from behind. Which, um, which ones are still alive? All of them. All of them are still alive? Wow, yes. y'all. <laughs> Everybody else has uh, gotten a critical injury except for this guy. I'll go this way and aim for the guy on the right and just knife him while his back is turned. Roll me a close combat, please. Okay. It's the guy that's bleeding out from his thigh wound. Yeah. Put him out of his misery, man. Mm. Two successes. Two damage. Who doesn't love I a good thigh wound? Oh my goodness. The knife itself does base two damage, right? Cool. Yes. So you want to deal an additional one point on top of that? Yes. Okay. If I, if I, injury anyway. Yeah, I was going to say, if I push the roll, can I do more damage and just outright kill him? Um, because it's strength it's... based. If you want to form a coup de gras as a slow action, I I've had one fast move of movement, right? Or I've had movement as one of the actions, but I don't know if I could and get him out of there. I want him out of the fight. Yeah, like. you can perform a coup de gras if you would like. Yes. Yes, I the don't. thing that we can do that I know what it is. Yes. It's basically a guarantee kill. Yes, that. That one. However, one weapon. of those. Okay. I, if it helps, I have passed the limit and I'm, I can do extra stuff on strength-based things. I'm, okay. So, I don't know Good if that helps. No, but I need you to make an empathy roll for me. No. <laughs> Why? 
<laughs> you want to know why? No. <laughs> um, how do I roll just straight empathy? Because. Oh, you should just be able to just click it. I am. I can't. Uh, what's the modifier in it? Four. Just roll the base die with a four modifier then. Okay. No, hey, come back here. Base dice. Four. How many base dice? One, four, right? Yes, That's what works. four. Deal. Oh. Okay. Uh, make me a panic roll. Okay. I'm not panicking and not being able to stab this guy. This is fine. So for our lovely two, do you have any stress die? Mm? You're getting a stress die from this guaranteed, but okay. I haven't gotten a stress yet. Okay, so you are you currently I, have a point of stress, but I feel you... like getting held hostage should have given me a stress die. <laughs> it should have. It really okay. should have. I I'll give Too that to late. myself now. <laughs> I I. As your gay brother, Retro I will not make yourself make you do that. I retroactively realized that was a scary situation and get double panicked on this. It's okay. <laughs> your your gay mother also failed to acknowledge Hey, you, thank you, mother, but I'm being honest now. I appreciate you greatly. Okay, so... I'm double stressed. That puts you at a four for your total roll, which you're doing fine. Despite everything, you are keeping it together. You just killed two men. Oh I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you, Mother is proud of me. This is all I needed. <laughs> but yes, uh, this guy is now dead. The guy in the office is dead. We have three left standing. And next Ooh. up in the initiative is... Well, it was the guy that was killed. So. <laughs> what you gonna do about it? <laughs> We're gonna move over to Silva. <laughs> Fight me. Let's do some shit. Um, so uh, this one is down. Is this one's not dead, right? This one's down on the ground, though. The one in front of directly in front of you is dead. Oh, it is dead. Okay. Yes. So uh, let me. I, I got here. We'll just make this easy. There Thank we go. you. Oh, they're gone. Right. Um, I just walked up and stabbed him, and I was like, "Got you." Uh, Iona's gonna. <laughs> Iona, Jesus. Silva's going to pull out uh, her. Which one do I want to pull out? Her her pistol, and um, I'm gonna fire at uh, this. Mm, yeah, this one in the distance here. Okay. Make me a range combat, please. Did I do it right, or did I do it wrong? That is, that is a miss, sir. Well, dang. Uh, that's okay. But that is a fast and a slow, so that ends my turn. Yep. So next up, we have... Well, we had... The guy who is currently being pinned to the ground by... <laughs> Chaplin, so he is going to attempt to try to work his way out of this. <laughs> Let's see how far it gets. Is it an opposed It is an opposed role? role, so make me a close combat, please. Woof. No. Okay, so he Zero actually success. got he got a success. So he is slipping out okay. of your grasp and scrambling away. Actually going for his weapon. So Nerd. Moving a bit away. That's really all I can do is try to scramble away and get that. So he's just here. Oh. And that brings it up. Two. That's Shefflin again. I'm up. Yep. 
I'm gonna like pounce after him and try and do the same thing I just did, but now we're just like tussling on the ground. <laughs> and I'm like clawing at his boots, like pulling his leg back, and he's like scrambling for the gun, and I'm just pulling him back. That's what we're gonna go for. You know what? Go for it, roll. Zero successes. Oh. Sir, you do not succeed. Nice. He he is able to get away. We're just fumbling on the ground for this gun. Okay, so that brings us up to Hammer. Did this guy not get to go over here? Did he not go? I don't think he did. Damn it, he didn't I was go. waiting. I was waiting for you to say something because well, I was going to shoot at him. I think he goes after. Shoot. Doesn't he? No, he he, he went before, and this one's the one that went oh. after Hammer. Oh. He was supposed to go before you, and I messed that up. But hey, you're getting shot at Iota. Let's see how he does. Can I shoot at him before he shoots at Iota? Go is forth. Overwatch? Go forth and yeah. do great things. Let's do it. You do care about me. Let's do it. Do it. Uh, plus three. Two success. Okay. Would you like to tack anything on top of that since you got an additional success? Yeah, extra damage. Or er, um, can I? Could I have done a coup de gras with that Overwatch, or does it have to be on my turn? You would need to basically be incapacitated for you to perform a coup de gras. Oh, okay. Is he not broken yet? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, just extra damage then. Okay. He is now in broken though, which means we're making a wonderful roll. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Okay. So you shoot this man right through the chest. Uh, oh, cool thing. And he's stumbling back and just trying to kind of get himself together. But he is still he's still standing. Unfortunately. Mm. Well, mm. actually, no. He's broken, so he's on the ground. What am I talking about? <laughs> yeah, no, he's almost back on the ground. <laughs> he's a hole in his chest. <laughs> he's trying to deal with that. <laughs> but now it is your actual turn, so... <laughs> Oh, does he lose was... it? Does he lose his turn? So he's yeah, gonna he, he lost that. Oh, he's not going to come after you, but since you went into Overwatch, I do believe that dedicates an action for you this time to do that. Um. So you have a fast action then? Yes. Oh, I Slowly. just have a fast action now? Yes. I'm slowly gotcha. picking up this system. Yeah. Slowly but surely. That. Maybe. Sort of. Um, I guess I'll... I'll dedicate Overwatch to... this guy here, because he's the only one that's not broken, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, now it is this guy's turn. He's going to... Once more, attempt to give a shot at Silva. As a miss on his part, so... He's going to try to stumble to his feet, and that is his turn. And we are back at the top with Iona. It me. I have a knife, so I'm just gonna lunge for that one. Please. This guy who's currently in a tussle with yes. Chaplin. <laughs> I would like to catch him unawares. Also, Chaplin needs the help, probably. Please? I mean, he's a synthetic. You can see the white ooze coming out of his skin after the shrapnel. <laughs> but he's my buddy. He's your friend, so you want to help him. Is yes. this a... You're just taking an attack at him? 
Mm -hmm. Roll me your close combat, please. I did one success. Okay. I stab him. Can Stabbed I do him. A, can I do another stab since I'm already there? I believe just... Maybe. What is attacking with a knife? What is attacking with a knife? Who knows? Close combat attacks are slow actions, so you can do a fast action. Which includes picking up an item. Um... Can I pick him up? <laughs> no, you can't pick him up. Okay, fine. Then I'm done. Okay. How much does your damage does your knife do? Two. Two? Okay. He's not wearing any armor, so he just eats that, and he is officially broken. <gasps> Hooray! Phew. <laughs> does, does Nif get a three for one? Do I? Do I? Do I? Do I? Oh my! No, goodness. you do not. They're so close. I wanted a hat trick so bad. However, so. Overwatch. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to finish him off. You pew, pew, pew pew pew. Okay, but if you do finish him off, I'm still taking credit for it. So. Sure. So you but, are shooting at the guy with Chaplin, as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. This is a team effort. You oh, basically plunge this knife into the guy side of this guy's face and just carve your way down. He is bleeding profusely from the side of his head. Uh, and for the Overwatch, go ahead. You rolled it already? Okay. That's four successes. Hello? Hello, sir? Are you dead yet? Please? Please, please, so please. That's, that's <laughs> what? Uh, six damage? Seven damage? I don't know if that actually matters at this point. He's in broken he's, already, like, so that doesn't matter too wounds, much. How many rows on the wound? Could I instead do a coup de gras since he is already broken? Or is that only from that close combat? That is close range. Crap. It's like a throat slit or something, basically, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Just anything that can guarantee finishing him off. Uh, I'm not executive decision here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You'll enjoy this greatly. You you will enjoy this greatly. You hit this man. <laughs> you shoot this man right between the legs. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's a bloody mess and not fun for anybody involved. <laughs> no one truly Very understands good. how amazing shooting someone in the leg is. <laughs> It's always got to be the head or the chest, but you get a nice bloody mess by shooting them in the leg. Well, what is the leg? Between the legs. Oh, even better. Yeah. Mm. If I wasn't covered in the white water before, <laughs> it's only going to be messier now. Boo! <laughs> Boo! You've broken game mother. How dare you? Oops. They're gonna clip this, you realize that. <laughs> I want a full like reaction to silly offhand comments I make. Okay, okay. I've got to give you to talk about on recap. And not having a good it's true. Day. We we gotta bait the recappers now. <laughs> so it's your turn. <laughs> oh. That's me, isn't it? Great, lovely. We all, they're all broken at, at that moment, right? Yes, they are. Uh, just the way I like them. <laughs> Yours nope. broken just like mine. <laughs> we'll go for the same one this time. Uh, I'll go for the one that's a little further away and shoot it with my pistol. Which one? Uh, this one over here. That's two Shooting successes. Him? Yes. Yep. Two successes. What do you want to do with that second one? Um, he's already on the ground, right? Yes. Mm. 
No, so this doesn't make sense. Actually, is this range combat? Okay. Yeah, let's just say they drop their weapon entirely. Uh, yeah, they are definitely dropping their weapon because guess what? You have a sharp eye, sir. And right. <laughs> you have a sharp eye, and its bullet goes right through this man's skull. Just the way I like The eyes are still open and looking at you with horror. Uh. Silva doesn't blink. <laughs> She's done this many, not, many times matter. before. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, yeet. Uh, yeet. Jaws, yeet. Okay, so. Next it is. Hammer. This guy goes after you. <clears throat> Who goes after me? You got it right below me? Yes. Um, yeah, Overwatch, that guy. <laughs> Fuck this man. <laughs> and I'll just, I'll just go ahead and use it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Why not? Just do it. This is the power that's been given to me. Overwatch do doesn't it. go into effect until the start of the next round, unfortunately. So he does still get his attack. Bah! Humbug. Which, hi, Silva. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Are you shitting me? That is another miss. Ooh. Rolling seven dice here, guys. This is a fun. <laughs> but... Yeah, no, that's that's him. So we are back at the top with Iona, unless you would like to go ahead and yeah, use your uh, Overwatch. Uh, you guys are just gonna hear like maniacal laughing from above, just <laughs> um, and I'm actually gonna use uh, full auto, um, okay. and uh, so let's let's see. That's a lot of successes. That's a lot of successes. Uh, but. Uh, part of the full auto is I can split the targets. That's nice. I think so I you want to. You want to just draw a line, basically. Yeah, just like <laughs> start from spray. him up there. Yeah, just spray at both of them. Just kind of like. Hey. See, see if we can't kill him. Um, Technically speaking, you would be getting negatives going into this range. Um, just because you have buddies here, but mm. you know what? You have four successes, so. Something tells e. me. E. Let's see. It'd be like a minus two or something like that. About, yeah. Well, the last two dice I rolled were nothing anyway, so if that matters at all. I like this hey. logic. Mm. Take the last two. Just take the last two away. <laughs> Sound not, logic. Not the first Sound two, but the last two. Logic. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So <laughs> this guy is not having a good time because you get more shots off into the abdomen. So <laughs> everything from like the diaphragm down is just a bloody mess. <laughs> Oh my God. This guy, somehow you managed to get in the lungs, <laughs> like in the chest. Oh. I imagine he's, because he's Just bent over trying to shoot at Silva. Lungs. Oh. <laughs> it, he's uh. at an angle trying to get the shot off at Silva. You, you managed to get there right between the ribs. <laughs> and I Hashtag take a... No Big ouch. Biggest and I, ouch. Take a, I take a stress level. That's it. Yes, you do. That's a decent price to pay for this. For the chaos you are sowing. Yes. <laughs> okay. Ching. We said, now that that's all done and over with, Iona, it is your turn. Oh. <laughs> what a delight to see that. And now I have to finish it up. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Going for that guy to try and get him out of here. Please. You're doing the coup de gras? Yep. Okay, make me your close combat. You okay, Charlie? He gonna be yep. now. Just kidding. Oh, oh no. That's a failure. <laughs> oh, roll so me no. a panic roll, please. 
Oh, snows. There's just too much blood at this point. It's a five. So it is a... In total, you are... I stressed myself up to two after the last one. Is a panic? Roll number mm-hmm. already include the additional two. Did you put yeah, that in? Yeah, it should. Yeah, because it's 1d6 plus two stress, so three plus two is five. Okay. So stress is already included. So you yeah. are keeping it together. I am proud of you. You went, to, went from being the office lady to being a badass. Congratulations, Niff. Um, <laughs> Excuse you. I already was. I just you are correct. You were just petty. <laughs> yes. But okay. So here we are. No. Back. Now. Oh, I hey! Just... Welcome, lollygaggers. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, hello. Look, I was badass. I just don't like people, and now I don't just... have to deal with people. No, you don't have to. You just kill them all. <laughs> making less people to deal with. This is fine. All right, but. Continue. Yeah, you don't get the coup de gras off. <laughs> because, yeah, because you got that fail, you don't get the coup de gras. Um, and that, I believe, is a slow action. Or is it your yep. full? It's. Mm, you... It's not even really listed on here. One day, I will have to come back to that. But it Sounds like uh, it's a big action, so I'm good with that being the only thing I tried. Yeah, I think it is actually just a full turn thing to do, mm-hmm. but uh, it is now, let's see, it's this bro's turn to get an attempt to save his life, even though he's in crippling pain. However, let's see, did you get the tackle off on him? I don't think you did, did you? No, I didn't. Okay, so he is going to reach for his gun, and this person just tried to fucking kill him, and is trying to just shoot up at, yeah, is going to try to shoot up at Iota while he's prone. What a prick. He is a prick. He's a dick. This is fine. Everything's fine. Roll me your armor, please. Why? Because he shot at you. (laughs) (laughs) Fair enough. That is a full zeros. That is that is that that that, that, mm, much wow. Very sad. Big 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 oof big big oof. Um. If I'm about to take, like, six points of damage right now, so help me. Well, you're taking three. <laughs> I I can't lessen that in any way. You um, already tried. All yeah, six you tried to no. with the armor check, yeah. <laughs> I'm down to one. <laughs> That's what the really armor checks do, it's to mitigate damage. <laughs> I'm down to one hit point, y'all. Well, um... Good news, your buddy is a medic. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, bud. How you Speaking doing? Speaking of bud, Silva, it's your turn. Uh, great. Uh-oh. Love it. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, I'm going to try to do something fun if I can to help mm-hmm. my, my fellow players out. I encourage fun. <laughs> So, as a field commander, you can use command to give orders in combat as fast action instead of a slow action. My question is... Nope, never mind. Give orders is a specific thing. Never mind. I was going to ask if I could use that to help Niffer stop panicking. Um, It's fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. Do I need to take more stress rolls from being I am going to try it normally, though. No, you don't. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, shout out to Iona and say, Iona, you're doing amazing. Keep going. And uh, <laughs> that is my s- s- stop panic. Uh, do me- is that a, I am is that not a used to getting encouragement. Roll? This is fine. <laughs> Jim? Repeat the question for me. 
if I'm trying to play the stop panic action, do I need to roll command? If you are trying to get them to stop panicking, yes, that is a command roll. I will also point out, though, that Iona is not panicking. Oh, she, oh, what, but, she rolled a panic roll, but she did not roll high enough to incite a Oh, so it doesn't reaction. actually... Okay, so it doesn't... Yes, I can't... Actually, I can't... Re- I can't reduce the number of panic dice. For stress right. dice, no. There's oh, different circumstances. There, there are different go. circumstances that help you relieve stress dice. In this case, you cannot. I don't worry about me. I have a thing that I can reduce my stress dice. Lovely. So um, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna forget about you because you know I guess I tried. Um, uh, might I? Uh, since we're too close, oh, actually no. I'm gonna turn my weapon on um, this boy in the middle who's really not doing well as far as I remember. And he's going to keep doing not well as we shoot at him <laughs> one more time. Go for it. That's three successes. This which is, is ideal. Um, and so can I... Every point of damage he rolls... Um, on the broken table, right? Yes. Well, so not I'm... every point of... Yes, every point of damage after zero. Perfect. Um, so I'll just give him two more points of damage, I guess. Which would be f- four altogether. Okay. So, I did not roll a kill shot, unfortunately, but... Oh, it's such a shame. <laughs> well, it got close. It was a 62 for the highest, which is a ruptured aorta. So this man has uh, got a couple of different points like that now, where he is just bleeding profusely. If he does not get medical attention soon, he is just going to bleed out on his own. We could just walk away. Um, yeah. And one last thing I can do... Actually, hold on. So that was my slow action. Um, I'm going to give orders as a fast action. And um, I'm just going to shout out to the, the group as a whole. Keep one of them just barely alive. We need at least some information. And I'll leave it there. Silva went, uh, Chaplain, it is your turn. So this guy that I've been tussling with, can I, um, like, try and put, like, a tourniquet on him, stop the, stop the bleeding out? Yeah, if you want to do a, um, medical aid for me. Sure. Are you using the surgical kit for this? This, uh... this would be considered a death roll. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? That sounds okay. like a thing I should do. That would I'm be an additional person. two dice. So just roll Ooh. two more base die. Spicy. Um, two in total. Okay. So you are keeping the bleeding for the most part under wraps. It's still very shaky on whether or not he'll live without getting to a proper facility, but he, he'll stay alive for at least a bit longer. Yeah, he doesn't need to live for long. Well, exactly. at least he doesn't need to know that. <laughs> Normally I'd yell at you for trying to tourniquet someone, but he's not one of ours, so it's fine. <laughs> That's all right. I've written on it the time that I put it on. And I'm like good. checking, like, That's good. you know, I don't want to do permanent limb damage, so I've got the time. It's written on the tourniquet <laughs> itself. I've done my training. My health and safety forms are up to scratch. It's okay. Oh, I've got yeah. my level three. Okay. Uh, this guy goes after Hammer. So, Hammer, it is your turn. Uh, I've already used my slow action. Yes. Did you shoot at anybody in Overwatch? Mm-hmm. I did the Foley auto thing. Okay. 
then yes, you have used it already. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna overwatch this guy again. Okie dokie. Yeah, let's do it. Then we are moving. He is going to. He is he is trying to fight back, even though he is a broken, bloody mess, and he is still going to miss. And attempt to limp away. <laughs> sort of trying to crawl. <laughs> it's not ideal for him. <laughs> but we are back at the top of the round. He's gonna get shot again. <laughs> it is Iona's turn. Alright. I would like to stab the one that Chaplin is not trying to save. Alright, the one that's over here on the ground. I'm within stabbing reach of both. It's fine. I, it, technically, this is about five meters per square, but I we, can make as a, a big as lunge. a movement. Yeah, I can make a big lunge. All right, make your close combat for me. Yes, please. Still nothing. What is? Wow. That's would you like to push your roll? What is this? Yes, I would. I can push it twice if I need to, because I'm tough. Nope. I'm past the limit. Um, yeah, I'm I'm gonna push it and just yep, do it again. Yep, just gonna roll them all because add all an additional wobbly. stress die. Ooh. Yep. All right. Spicy. So I need you to roll me another panic with three for yep. your roll right. seven. So we have a seven. We are officially on the board, guys. Oh, Hooray! No. Hooray, I'm finally panicking. Hooray! At least you stabbed him. I did. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! You stabbed him, but you walked away wounded. Okay. Ooh, I'm nice. already That's wounded. Rough. I'm already so wounded. I have one <laughs> hit point left. Help. You have Probably permission fine. to tourniquet me. <laughs> so <laughs> you... You don't want that. <laughs> You For your panic roll, you end up getting a twitch. Now, because you had to roll a panic roll, you do not get to complete your action. Oh. <gasps> so you don't stab him. You do not get to stab him, but because now you are just kind of... You have this knife in your hand, you realize kind of what you've been doing, and you are shaking. So everybody who is in short range, which is going to be... Silva and Chaplin, you also are getting an additional stress die. Oh, good. Oof. Actually, Chaplin doesn't because he's an android. Androids don't get stress. Well, I'll take I'm Overwatch sure. and shoot this guy now. Okay. That's okay. All right, make me your range. <laughs> Sir, you are not. <laughs> Unless you would like to push your roll. <laughs> Wait, on, on what's that? 13 dice. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I oh I don't God. exactly know what pushing my roll does, but yeah, so let's do it. A push roll basically lets you re-roll any blink dice, so All you didn't get any. So Ooh. what you'll do is you'll add another stress die since you are pushing your roll. Oh, so I automatically get a stress die from that. Yes. Cool. Let's do it. And then you re-roll it. Re-roll. <laughs> You cannot push rolls, sir. I'm not allowed to at all. No, you are not, because you are a synthetic. That's two oh. successes. Since you don't get stress, you do not get to push. All right. And I'm going to cause him to drop his weapon as well. Okay. So that's three damage. Away. Okay. So you are your eyes have finally gotten sharp too. You put a bullet right through this man's skull as yeah. he's trying to crawl away. I really like that our skills have kind of just flip flopped. Pow pow. Alright, so now all that is left is you guys and this man. And we're not and killing him. You're not killing him, so we are out of combat. Um, question. 
Yes. Did the, did the medical check work from earlier? Yeah. The tourniquet, did it work? Yeah. It worked, but he, so he's stable. Okay. For now. For the time like, being. Uh, I was looking at the critical injuries table. <laughs> and a ruptured aorta, you have to like... Yeah. He... Like, immediately. <laughs> yeah, he did that as soon as it happened. So he's stable for the moment. I don't know how you would tourniquet a ruptured aorta, but you know. It was in the leg. Why not? Right, tight right around the neck. Tight yeah. around the neck. Really tight. Maybe if you go to the aorta part everywhere. of your heart. Yeah. Oh, so just. That's how you do it. Excuse me. Keep the blood in the brain. Look, I yeah. don't know. Stop it. Stop it going round. Like turning I'm the stop. I'm a biology cut. student. There. You just you get you get a rubber band and I'm you a just. Doctor. Trust Put me. it on the heart. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Silva's going to step up <laughs> towards this very brutally broken person and say, um, I told you, your world is ending tonight. There's nothing we can do. Have you or have you not been in contact with Lance Corporal Reese or the defectors? It kind of chokes out that Wojcik tried to get in contact with us. They thought we could get them off Moon. She's at the insurgent compound in the West District. Well, that I don't know about the others. It? So is. Uh, watch it alone. None of the others. I don't know about the two men. There was another woman that they found should be there too. Okay. And Selva's going to walk away and leave the decision up to uh, the, the two of them. Me? Iona and Chaplin. Yep. Um, gonna kind of look at Tourniquet Maker here and just... <laughs> He's making himself busy plugging every hole this guy's got to try and t- keep all the inside bits where they belong. I, I mean... I'm busy at my work. Officer, stand back. We call the marshals. They bring in a medical team. There's no way this man is making it out alive. You can try all you want, but I don't think he's going to make it. Hammer's going to climb down from the distillation tower and just walk up. I'm just, I'm just kind of like waiting for somebody to actually give the word, because I still got my knife. Still just trembling, holding this knife. <laughs> do I do a boss? <laughs> Look, Hammer. I mean, I don't care if I'm twitching. It's not like I can kill somebody wrong. And I'll just stand <laughs> up and begin to walk away. I'm, I'm sorry. And Hammer's, Hammer's just going to look at Iona, just cock his head and shake his head a little bit, walk up, pull his knife out, and coot around this guy. I stab first. <laughs> <laughs> just stab, 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 stab. Stab, I'm, stab. I'm, I'm, I don't play it safe. I, I take initiative. I don't, no, that I don't need sense. to wait I think for Iona's, else. Iona's ready to just kill this person, so that makes sense. Uh. Okay. I had a knife out. Thing. It's me. I did it. Thank I you, Sergeant. That'll do. Make me an empathy role, please. Mm-hmm. You are taking a stress from this. Mm-hmm. Good. How many dice? That many dice. You have to fail the empathy roll. Oh, look at that. What happened there? <laughs> 
<laughs> not exactly a fail. It's fine. I yeah, that's that's all I got. I don't want to try. Take push care it. Of did you roll your stress die as well? Quickly, I, please. I did, oh, I should not have. Oh, you said four base I dice. Not. I don't know why. Might be. Emp- your empathy would be four base dice, but you still have to add the stress dice to it. Yep. How many stress dice? Four, apparently. I got two success on my stress dice. <laughs> you got it. There we go. I'm stressed, you got but this I'm, coup de I'm committing. So yeah, I I see a hammer walking over and like pulling out his life, and I'm like, mm, and like do it first, because like I I'm not playing it safe. I got this. I can, you know, do stuff. I can take initiative, boss. Yeah. So he is he's dead. Okay, cool. And uh, now you guys have a lead. I'm just gonna wipe. As a, as a final moment, Silva's going to head over to Iona and mm-hmm. give her an give her a nod. And um Iona is a male, will you? Well yep. that's how oh, I know. <laughs> I'm uh, a give dude. him a yeah. Well I'm a I'm a I'm a not dude, so it's fine. Um uh Iona's in Iona Jesus. Silva's gonna go over to Iona and give him a nod and then pull from out of her uh, chest pocket a packet of cigarettes and okay. hand one to Iona and put one in her mouth and from the uh, strap around her helmet pull out an old beat up lighter and light hers and then light Iona's and just say uh, take a deep breath of that. You did a good job. Uh, yep. Yeah. And uh, uh, mechanically, I think is now when I can start. I can yeah. stop panicking, whatever. But um, I fine. think I'm we gonna, are very I'm close to banter. finishing up for the night. Yeah. Right? So would you guys like to take a few minutes to just kind of recollect yourself as characters? Sounds yes, good. I would like to okay. banter because that's one of my talents. And I can... How long would you guys like to spend doing this? If what is a what turn is... in a safe space everyone can drop two steps of stress instead of one for every turn. Nice. So we, can make, we can make stress go away faster, because I'm witty. And mm-hmm. interacting with your signature item I does lower your stress by one, which, Silva, you interacted with yours there. However, I will make a note that you can only really use that to decrease your stress once per act. We are currently in the first act. If you would like to move forward with using that to reduce your stress level instead of just playing it cool for a bit. No, that, I didn't um, know that was a thing, so I'll just leave it, it as is. The... Okay. All right. I need to take one of my my stems anyway, so. Canonically, can I kill, <laughs> still give one to Iona without using my signature item? Just because yes. it, it's it sounds cool in the situation. Yes. You can You can share your cigarettes with Iona. And we'll count that as the bantering going into effect. Perfect. How's that sound? Perfect. So it's artistic in its turn, own way. Yeah. For each turn you guys hang out, you will lose two stress. So each turn's about five, ten minutes. We need to spend at least two turns. That's so give it like twenty minutes, you, you guys get back got, in the truck and we have yeah, twenty minutes drive. to get back Perfect. over to West whatever, so Perfect. We'll have I'm, plenty of time to chill. I'm not stressed, but still very sick. Would you guys like to radio in with what you found so far? I think we probably would. Okay. So you get Major Hatfield on the line, and uh, you get you guys kind of go through what happened, and he says, "Great, you can make your way over to." West District now, get into that insurgent compound if you want it. I will make a Cheyenne uh, dropship available to you. You can drop in from the air or scale the walls up to you. Just let me know. Riding in style. I think a top-down approach is always uh, a bit more surprising. All right, then I'll have them meet you before you leave the refinery. Thank you, sir. All right. So you guys are hanging out and waiting for this dropship. Woohoo! 
taking your stress levels down, giving it a minute, and next time we will see what happens in the insurgent compound. Who will we uh, find? Spooky. Uh, Who knows? I'm glad you're on the alien RPG kit, because I am too. That's why I'm playing <laughs> running it. <laughs> but um is that we good guys? We, we want to call it here for the night? Yes, I think please. we're gonna call it here, so Let's go right. night. Uh, right. looks like Tyrant is away from the uh, the camera, so Okay. So, so we will do your best impression. <laughs> well, <laughs> where's the old bitey clip? <laughs> well, Tyrant had to go. Or that's what he thinks so. But really it's a fish and none of us wish that he would and he should just go. Hey. Okay, let's uh just go ahead and start with Al and work our way around. Sure. Uh, well, yeah, thanks, guys. Like, that was super, super good fun. Uh, I'm Al Abiffa, playing your resident medic um, android, unfeeling and slightly droll uh, as ever. Um, you can find me um, here on TPK, I think, uh, next Monday, doing some Sherlock Investigates. And for future alien um, shenanigans, more of my android rapier wit to come i'm sure uh, everyone is looking forward to that we'll soon find out but uh, plenty of bits and bobs going on here otherwise i'm over on twitch at twitch.tv forward slash alabiffa you can find me there uh, most every day doing some form of nonsense it's all good fun but uh yeah good times hopefully i'll catch you soon hey there everyone i'm proper nerdy i played captain silva tonight um it was fun being a hard ass you're gonna see me as a hard ass again tomorrow uh, in the Tube of Annihilation campaign Beyond the Undergrowth with Tony uh, as our good old DM. Um, uh, that might be the end of my endless five session like marathon this week. Um, <laughs> so uh, you can check me out in other shows such as Harper's, Sherlock, and uh, Roundhouse, which should happen, which should be next week. So uh, have a lovely evening and good night. Over to you, Niffer. Hey, I'm just starting my like five shows in one week thing. Uh, I was on this tonight and you can find me again on TPK on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday for our modules week. Uh, doing Curse of Strahd and Tyranny of Dragons and uh, Rhyme of the Frostmaiden. So yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and since Tyron hasn't come back, he is in a lot of stuff too. He's pretty uh, great. He's, he's definitely not been kidnapped by a fish at all. Uh, <laughs> let's see. When will he be next time? He'll, next time I think he'll be in a show will be this Saturday for Dark Echoes episode two. And then on Sunday to recap all the nonsense that happened in this episode of Destroyer of Worlds on Total Party Recap on the 17th. So uh, if you liked him a lot and wish that he'd come back, to us once again. Go check him out on those two shows. And I am Mick Mysteria. I have been your game mother for this evening. Despite all the technical difficulties that we ran into at the beginning of this session, never happened. Nope. Don't worry, I Won't got acknowledge you. It. Nope. <laughs> Nothing happened. But um, If it's not on the YouTube, it didn't happen. If it's not yeah. on the YouTube, it didn't happen. Um, this is fine even though I'm looking at my Twitch screen right now and it is completely frozen, but I don't know how, what's going on with that. It's fine. Re regardless, uh, you guys oh, can yeah. find me here on Twitch under the same handle. Um, Monday mornings, I usually stream every now and then. I'll do other things, but uh, for the most part, you can just find me on the TPK Discord and on um, Twitter. That's where I post everything. Um, You'll see updates as we go on with this show. We will be back again on the 25th. About mm -hmm. the same time, we'll be hopefully starting at 10 instead of like almost 11 o'clock. <laughs> but um, we will see everybody here again then. Um, you can catch me again next week as well next week in Singularity, as well as the Top Shelf second episode, we will be running the light system. Mm -hmm. um, but it's been a lot of fun, guys, and I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. 
Have a lovely evening.